Uh, my question is for Mr. Dent. Uh, Mr. Dent, as a 20-year career politician, you have sworn an oath to protect the United States Constitution multiple times. This document, uh, especially with its Ninth and Tenth Amendments, uh, greatly limit the powers of the federal government. I believe you have broken your oath innumerable, innumerable times, but in the spirit of debate, uh, can you please explain where in the Constitution do you have the right to uh, free taxpayer-paid health care and pension benefits for the rest of your life, but your constituents do not? Where in the Constitution do you have the power to continue to authorize funding for undeclared and unconstitutional warfare? Where in the Constitution do you have the power to bail out private corporations with taxpayer-paid dollars? And where in the Constitution do you have the power to violate the Fourth Amendment uh, rights of our citizens to authorize federal agents to commit wireless wiretapping, secret searches, and uh, nude body searches under uh, citizens underneath the Patriot Act and other legislation that you have supported? Well, there are a lot of questions there, Jake. Uh, uh, Jake, you fancy yourself as quite the constitutionalist, but you kind of strike me more of a, as an artist, a confederation kind of guy. But nevertheless, having said that, you know, when it comes to the war, you know, you said that with respect to the Afghanistan war, you to, I, I heard you on a radio show, you said, uh, you know, what goes around comes around. That the United States had caused... It's a CIA uh, term, blowback. I'm answering the question. You had stated that the United States was responsible for the attacks of 9-11, like a 9-11 truther. I couldn't disagree with you more. I am not also, a 9-11 truther, well, Charlie. Well, I'm answering the question. You made the statement on the Bobby Hunter Wall Show. We all heard it. Uh, Patriot Act. Uh, the Patriot Act is very, very important. Very important uh, to make sure that our intelligence agencies, as well as our domestic law enforcement, could collaborate. They, there was a wall separated. That was very important. And you talk about the uh, invasions of uh, privacy. Well, we have roving wiretaps right now for drug dealers. We simply said in counterterrorism operations, we should be able uh, to use roving wiretaps on those same types of uh, on terrorists. Nothing wrong with that. We should be doing it. It has helped make America safer. There has not been a successful attack, well, with the exception of the Fort Hood incident, there's not been a successful attack in this country since 9-11 because of that act.